everyone, and welcome to Ken Sons from Field of Cardinal Sports Complex for CTN's coverage of high school baseball tonight. Two Northwest Suburban teams trying to keep pace with the leaders as they start the second week of the season. The Anoka Tornadoes blow in with a 2-1 and one record. The Cardinals coming off their first victory last week against Champlain Park, trying to make it two in a row by taking down the Tornadoes. We saw Joe Young flying solo behind home plate this afternoon. Howie Shapiro down in sunny Florida. We saw the Cardinals start last week. Their season opener against Osseo. They had an early lead, but the Orioles flew away at the end. Tyler Paulson getting the start on the mound for the Cardinals again this afternoon. His second start, he threw pretty well against Osseo to start, but struggled in the fifth. There's a look at what he'll be facing. Sam Miller, the shortstop, leading off, followed by Mitch Ward, Ryan Wicks hitting third. The second baseman, Jake Nelson, in the cleanup spot, followed by Kevin Pribble. The DH is Travis Elwood, Parker Truen, Dan Sherman, and Nick Morrison round out the order for the Tornadoes. Miller digs in and looks at the first pitch from Paulson, a fastball right down the middle for strike one. And that's what we saw Paulson able to do early in that game against Osseo, get out in front of hitters and get through the first couple of innings relatively easily. And then ran into some trouble in the fifth, hit a couple of batters, gave up a couple of runs. Miller watches the off-speed pitch at the letters. And Paulson ahead in the count, one and two. Fastball, chop foul. And Miller will stay alive. His first swing extends the at-bat. Here comes Paulson with another one-two pitch. Hits solidly left. Brenda on a hop, throws across, out number one. Nice move by Brenda to his right. Went down to a knee, caught it on a hop. Throws across for out number one. There's a look at the defense behind Paulson. Starting catcher this afternoon, Corbin Matavoski. Brandon Flippen at first, Sam Smith at second, Tony Raymond at short, and there's Joe Brenda made a great play on the first pitch, hit into play. Jeremy Oakley, Kirk Funfar, and Luke Height patrolling the outfield. Mitch Ward watches an off-speed pitch off the on the inside edge. And again, Paulson able to get ahead in the count, 0-1. And, and now 0-2. Ward swinging at that breaking ball away. Fastball hit right side, slow roller to Smith. He bobbled it, picks it up, still able to make the throw in time for out number two. It's a little shaky defense on the slow roller by Sam Smith, but still able to scoop it up and get Ward out at first base. And now Ryan Wicks, the first base minder. Two out, nobody on. Fastball is low, 1-0. And now a fastball down and in, brushes Wicks back a little bit. Paulson behind, 2-0. Fastball chopped left side, second hop. Brenda had to wait a long time, long throw. Good scoop for out number three. Couple of great fielding plays for the Cardinals in the top of the first. They come to bat. When we return, you're watching High School Baseball on CTN. This CTN Sports presentation is brought to you in part by Appliance Experts, locally owned and operated, featuring 24-hour emergency service specializing in all brands of appliances, air conditioning, and in-home heating. Appliance Experts, 763-754-5887. 
Offering air conditioning tune-ups right now. Back at the ballpark, a sunny day at Ken Sundstrom Field. And a good start for Tyler Paulson. Gets the Tornadoes three up and three down on three ground balls. A couple of nice plays by Joe Brenda at third. A great scoop by Flippin to end the inning. There's a look at the Cardinals offense. Sam Smith, the second base minor, will lead things off. Kirk Funfar hitting second. Tony Raymond behind him. Brandon Flippin hitting fourth. Joe Brenda and then Jeremy Oakley. Logan Shore, the freshman, in the lineup is the DH. Luke Kite and then the catcher, Corbin Matavoski. And the Cardinals expect to see a lot of number one pitchers, especially against Northwest Suburban teams. And they will see it again here this afternoon. Parker True and the ace of the staff for the Tornadoes. And there's a look at his defense behind him. Cody Peterson in right. Nick Morrison in center. Dan Sherman in left field. Ryan Wicks and Jake Nelson on the right side. Sam Miller at short and Mitch Ward at the hot corner. Kevin Pribble is behind the plate. Sam Smith digging in. He will be the first to face Truen. Truen looking for the same kind of start Cardinals got from Paulson. Good fastball in for a strike. And a breaking pitch right over the plate, 0 2. Truen comes out and shows his range right away. Fastball followed by the curve. And now with an 0-2 count, Smith just stuck the bat out and fouled it off to stay alive. Another fastball from Truen. Coon Rapids seeing a lot of left-handed pitching. Third starting lefty they've seen in four games. That one's outside, one and two. This one hit right side. Coming in on it is Nelson, the throw to Wicks in time for round number one. And that'll bring up Kirk Funfar. One of the Cardinals' many seniors, looking to have a big year in 10. First pitch is low. Like to spark a little bit of a rally here in the first. Fouls this one off, out of play, one and one. Pitch up high, two and one. And another fastball stays high, three and one. With Raymond on deck. This one driven to center. Morrison on the run will make the catch running to his left. Well hit ball by Funfire, but good range showed by Nick Morrison in center. Headed for the gap, but Morrison able to get over there in plenty of time and make it look easy. So two down for Coon Rapids here in the bottom of the first inning, Raymond. Watches a pitch up high. And Truen having a little trouble early on, keeping the pitches down. 
There's one right down the middle and driven toward the gap in left center. Morrison long way to his right and makes the catch again. Good range shown by the Anoka center fielder. And the Cardinals go three up and three down. A quick first inning for both pitchers. The second starts next on CTN. Everything about buying a bigger place? Just waiting for a visit from the credit fairy. There is no credit fairy. How else will I get a better credit score? Look, you keep your credit card balances low and only open a new card if you really need it. No fairy? There's no magic to improving your credit, but there's help, and it's free. Go to creditfairy.org. problem with your friends driving recklessly? With your friends endangering your life? I'm here to tell you that reckless driving is the number one cause of teenage deaths. But with new and improved Slow Down, you don't have to die. He's right. We should slow down. In the real world, there is no spokesperson to prevent reckless driving. There's only you. Speak up. Kim, pay attention. When you watch CTN News, you'll notice we're different. It's about the people, the places, the stories that affect your life. We're local. We focus on the local communities, the local issues, and the local stories. They're the stories that impact you, the stories you won't find anywhere else. It's the people, the places, and the events that make CTN so interesting. It's about connecting you to your community, one story at a time. Tyler Paulson, first pitch of the second inning, belted right back up the middle by Jake Nelson. And one pitch gets the Anoka leadoff man aboard, first hit of the game for either team. Both pitchers getting through the first relatively easily. And Nelson starts the second inning with a ground ball right back up the middle. And we'll see how Paulson... Throws with a runner on. Nelson with a decent lead over at first. They'll check him, and he's back in time. Catcher Kevin Pribble digging in, hoping to follow that up. Start a big inning for the Anoka team. Fouls this one off toward the Coon Rampants dugout. Check on Nelson again, and again, he's back in time. But flipping, holding the runner at first, big hole on the right side of the infield for the right-handed hitting Kevin Pribble. If he were able to poke something the other way. Goes after one up high, pops it back out of play, and it's 0-2. Bribble shaking his head a little bit. Knows that was one he should have laid off. Well up and out of the zone. And now he's in the hole 0-2. Fastball gets him swinging. And a big strikeout for Tyler Paulson. Good fastball right at the letters, coming in on the hands a little bit. And now the DH, Travis Elwood. There's a look at head coach Kevin Bross in his first season in control of the Tornadoes. Elwood got just a little piece of it, but it ends up in the glove of Matavoski, and it's 0-1. Another fastball up high, one and one. Back. 
check on Nelson again, and again he is back before the throw. Swing and a miss. And Paulson ahead in the count, one and two. Again, able to smoke the fastball by him. Pitch up high, two and two. Down and away, full count. And a big pitch right here for Tyler Paulson. Doesn't want to put two men on with only one out. Number seven man, Parker Truitt. The Anoka pitcher standing in the on-deck circle, up and in, and it's ball four. So Anoka starts with a single. Paulson gets a strikeout, but then gives up a walk, and now two men on for Parker Truen with only one out. First one foul back to the screen, 0 and 1. A speed pitch called a strike on the outside corner, and Druin kind of nodded his head. Yep, that was a good pitch. And it's 0 and 2. Fastball up and away. This one foul back to the backstop again. Stays one and two. Breaking pitch, misses just outside. Coon Rapids bench and fans thought that was gonna be called third strike. Instead it's two and two and here it comes. This one fouled off out of play down the left field line. And this will be the seventh pitch of this at bat for Parker Truen. Trying to help his own cause a little half swing. Paulson got a piece of it, then bobbled by Smith. They're gonna hold the runner, Nelson at third. And uh, that one probably gonna go in the book as an error. Paulson got just a fingertip on it. And then Nelson had to take a fun, or Smith rather, had to take a funny hop up into his chest, and it is considered an error. And no matter how it happened, it's bases loaded, one out for Dan Sherman. And Sherman fouls the first offering to the back stop. This is starting to get to be a bit of a long inning for Tyler Paulson. If he was able to glove that last one by Truett, he might have been able to end it. High heat gets Sherman swinging, 0-2. Force at any base. Only one down and strike three, a big strikeout 
for Tyler Paulson, and now the number nine man coming to the plate. Paulson trying to get out of a jam here in the second. It's a second strike out of the inning. But a single, a walk, and an error have the bases loaded for the Tornadoes. First pitch inside. Called a strike. And Morrison jumped away from it. Morrison definitely crowding the plate. That one just a little bit low. And one and one. And a called strike. Fastball right down the middle. And Paulson in control, trying to get out of this jam with no damage done. The one two pitch called third strike, third strike out of the inning for Tyler Paulson. And Anoka was threatening. But they leave the bases loaded. We go to the bottom of the second. No score. You're watching Cardinal Baseball on CTN. It's horrible. Hey, yo, that was not my fault. That, that was, was his fault. His fault? Come on. The running back ran right past you. We nice. are going to rock this. OK, guys, you ready for the big game? Dad, did you do the laundry? Yeah, I use the fabric softener. <laughs> Let's go. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. Today I'm going to talk about Patty. Patty's best characteristics, she's stupid. Stupid and ugly. Everything she does is ugly. Watch her eat. Watch her stuff her face. Look at her. Greasy hair, dirty fingernails. It makes me want to vomit. Get a life, Patty. Thank you. Anoka had a chance in the top of the second, but left the bases loaded. And now Coon Rampant's number four, five, and six hitters to lead off this bottom of the second. Hoping to put Parker Truen in a little bit of trouble, the Anoka pitcher. First pitch inside. Down and in, 2-0. and Truen gave up a pretty, couple of pretty well hit fly balls, but good play by Nick Morrison, ranging both ways to get outs. This one hit back up the middle. Well to his right is Nelson. Throws over to Wicks for out number one. Solid play in the field there by the Anoka second baseman. And now Joe Brenda watches a big breaking pitch for a strike. A lot of tilt on that breaker. And it puts True in ahead in the count 0-1. Fastball fouled off, 0-2. Off-speed pitch gets him swinging, a three-pitch strikeout first of the game for Parker Truen, and two up, two down quickly here in the bottom of the second inning. And now the left fielder, Jeremy Oakley. It's one of the big bats the Cardinals are glad to have back in the lineup. And 
got a piece, but fouled it back. And that puts Paulson out front 0-1. Pribble taking some time to walk back out to the hill with Truett. Talk a little strategy of, about how to, how to throw to Jeremy Oakley. All these players, of course, by this point in their careers, very familiar with one another, having played against and with one another since Grade school, pitch down and in, one and one. Oh. Fastball fouled off, out of play. <laughs> and a swinging strike. Another one, two, three inning for Parker Truen. We go to the third, no score between Anoka and Coon Rapids. You're watching High School Baseball on CTF. Take out meals for just $12.99. Call it. Sherry Pearson. are the sole surviving heir of the King of Montanopolis, and you are now worth $45 million. I'm rich! This can't be real. Of course it's not real. Come on. Having money isn't about luck. Like that takeout meal. Cook at home instead, you can save thousands a year. Feed me. Feed the pig! So, are you going out tonight? I can't. My parents say I have to be home right after work. <sighs> That's so gay. Totally, guy. Oh, that is so Emma and Julia. Why are you saying that's so Emma and Julia? Well, you know, when something is dumb or stupid, you say that's so Emma and Julia. Who says that? Everyone. Imagine if who you are were used as an insult. When you say that's so gay, do you realize what you say? Knock it off. Getting some studying done at the ballpark. Beautiful day to be out here. A good one going thus far. Bit of a pitching duel. No score after the first two innings. Tyler Paulson struggled a little bit in his second inning. Gave up a hit, a walk, and an error, but no runs. And now the top of the order due up for Anoka here in the top of the third. Sam Miller, the leadoff man, a ground ball to third base. Back in the first inning. Fastball misses wide. And now inside, 2-0. Off speed pitch, hit well to the gap in left center. And it's gonna be down all the way to the wall. Fun far fields and gets it back in, but a stand up double to lead things off for Sam Miller. For the second straight inning, a lead off hit for Anoka. It's time it puts man in scoring position with nobody out. Curveball left hanging a little bit. Miller found the gap between Oakley and Funfar. And now Mitch Ward. Ward first pitch hit right at Brenda. Stops it with his chest. Throw and a great scoop by Flippin to get the out. And on the play, Miller forced to stay aboard at second base. Another good fielding play by Joe Brenda, his third assist in the ball game. 
Wicks backs away from a pitch down and in, 1-0. This one driven to right center. Nobody's going to catch it. It's going to run the gap. Miller will round third. He will score easily. And another stand-up double for Anoka. Puts him on the board, one to nothing. Two pitches hit well toward the gaps on either side of the outfield. And now Jake Nelson let off the second inning with a single back up the middle. Has a man at second with one away here in the third. Got just a piece of that, and it's one and one. Fastball fouled back out of play, one and two. This one hit deep to center, back on it is Funfar, makes the catch. Tagging and going for third is Nelson and he will be in in front of the throw. The Wicks, rather. Nelson out by on a fly ball, but it's productive. Out moves the run to third base. And now Kevin Pribble went down swinging on three pitches. One of three strikeout victims in that second inning by Tyler Paulson. First pitch. Popped his short left, long run for Funfar, able to make the basket catch just in fair territory. And the inning is over, but a couple of doubles. Gets an oak on the board. They lead one to nothing after two and a half. You're watching High School Baseball on CTN. Hey. Ready to go? Yeah, but the fire's not out. It's close enough. Close enough? If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. I, I mean, the next thing you know, you've torched our whole neighborhood. Which is why we're not going anywhere? Exactly. Nine out of 10 wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. There's a place not so far away, a place where you don't have to keep the volume down. You'll find all sorts of creatures in this place without have to. The silly you, the proud you. You may even meet the curious you. It's tickling me. You, you, you! Ask your parents to take you to this not so far away place. Come to the forest where the other you lives. But first, stop by discovertheforest.org. A very pleasant mid-April afternoon at Ken Sundstrom Field. Coon Rapids trailing by a run as we start the bottom of the third inning. Still have yet to get a runner on base against an Oka pitcher, Parker Truen. Truen back-to-back strikeouts to end that second inning. Needed just 10 pitches. In that second inning. And now facing the bottom third of the Cardinal order. Freshman designated hitter Logan Shore leading the way. First one's in the dirt. And it's 1-0. Truen's only fallen behind to the batter a couple of times. Good eye, good eye. 
But in each case, able to dig his way out now, 2-0. Short taking all the way and a strike right down the middle, two and one. This one chopped right side. Fielding it is Nelson, the throw to Wicks and out number one. Relatively easy out again for the fielders behind Truen. Third ground ball hits to second base out of the seven outs recorded by Anoka. Nice curve ball. Height completely baffled on that one. And it's 0-1. Fastball chopped right side, slow roller. Nelson waits, scoops, throws, two down. And most of those now four ground balls to right feet to uh, second base have been slow rollers just like that. Relatively easy plays for Jake Nelson. Cardinals in the first inning hit a couple deep shots toward the gaps in both left and right center, but Nick Morrison made good running catches from center field. This one driven down the line and fair, possibly extra bases for Corbin Matavoski. He will dig for second base and slide in safely with the two out double first hit of the ball game for Coon Rapids. And Caden Lee will come out to be the courtesy runner. And Coon Rapids back to the top of the order. See if they can start a bit of a rally. All they need is one more hit to bring the runner home, Sam Smith. Watches a fastball, called a strike on the outside edge. Smith with a ground ball to second base in the first. Swings it one in the dirt that skipped off the helmet of Pribble. And moving to third on the wild pitch is Caden Lee. But it's now 0-2 to Sam Smith. Another pitch down low, one and two. Good stop that time by Pribble. Blocking it up with his knee. Fastball called third strike. And that's out number three. Coon Rapids gets its first hit of the ball game. But Anoka comes right back to the plate, leading one to nothing. You're watching High School Baseball on CTN. Exit. <laughs> there you are, ma'am, all done. Thank you very much. Have a great day. <laughs> Thanks again. Every day, emergency workers, as well as maintenance crews, construction crews, and first drivers work on busy roadways. And every day, they're at risk of being killed. On multi-lane highways, please move over one lane. Our lives depend on you. G morning sunshine. Wakey wakey. Text me. Are your parents home later? We can hang. LUV love you. JK. Holla back. Holla back. Holla back. <laughs> Are you with your friends? That's lame. We're in a huge fight right now. XO. Would you dream of something I did? Are you on your way to the mall? I'm lonely. Nude pics. Send me some. Text me.
Starting the top half of the fourth inning, Anoka leading one to nothing. Travis Elwood, the DH, leading things off. Looks at a pitch for a strike, 0 and 1. Elwood fell behind in his first at bat, but able to coax a walk out of Paulson. Takes pitch up and in. Swung on and missed, and it's one and two. Fastball misses low, and the count is even at two and two. And a called third strike and a nice bender across the inside edge by Tyler Paulson, his fourth strikeout of the afternoon. Good movement on that pitch. Frozen thought it was coming in and instead breaks back over the plate. And now Parker Truen. Truen reached on an error in the second inning. This one driven a left. Oakley runs back, can't make the catch. It's over his head, bounces up against the fence. And it's going to be a double for Parker Truen with one out here in the fourth. Third hit of the ball game. Fourth hit of the ball game for Anoka. Three of them have been doubles. Now the eight and nine guys who both came up with the bases loaded in the second inning and both struck out. Sherman went down swinging on three pitches. First one popped up right side. Miller calls for it. Makes the catch, or Smith rather. And that's out number two. Now the center fielder, Nick Morrison, trying to get Truen home from first, or second. Fastball called a strike. Another fastball fouled off out of play, 0-2. Now watch for that breaking pitch. Morrison called out on a third strike. First time, this time he goes down swinging. That's strikeout number five for Paulson. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Anoka one, Coon Rapids zero. You're watching Cardinal Baseball on CTF. I really want to show you something. Play today for great play ideas. Visit www.smallstep.gov. It's one of the many ways to fight osteoarthritis pain. For more information on managing pain, go to fightarthritispain.org.
Coo Rapids coming back to the plate here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Two, three, four guys do up. The only chink in the armor of Anoka starter Parker Truen. A two-out double by Corbin Matavoski in the third inning. Fun far. Watches one dip below the knees, 1-0. and oh. Fouled off, out of play, one and one. Fastball called the strike, one and two. Funfar sent one to the gap in right center but a good running catch by Nick Morrison. Falls this one off out of play. Hot speed pitch is low to a two. This one hit right back up the middle. Line drive to center. And a leadoff single by Kirk Funfar. And now Tony Raymond. Raymond hit one really well to the gap in left center, but Morrison made an even better running catch to his right that ended the first inning. Now with a man on, nobody out, he's hit. As that one got away from Truitt and Coon Rapids has a little something going here in the fourth. Cleanup man Brandon Flippin coming to the plate with two men on and no one out. And with Flippin and Brenda and then Oakley do up. Even though you've got the uh, situation with two men on and nobody out, they are going to call the bunt, asking their cleanup man to bunt. He bunted it foul to the back screen. It's going to say unlikely with those guys due up that you'll see them call for the sacrifice bunt, although it's kind of what the situation calls for. Rarely do you see your cleanup man square around. We'll see if he does it again now behind in the count 0 1. Looking to swing, and the pitch is low. One and one. Reaches out, drops one down. It's going to stay fair. They go to third, and they get the leadoff, man. And did they relay and get the double play? Flipping is safe at first. Fun for not getting a good jump, a good bunt. Good decision though by Kevin Pribble to go to third. And I could have sworn I saw them call him out, but he's safe at first on the fielder's choice. Brenda, first pitch swinging, hit right at shortstop. Miller flips to Nelson, the relay is not in time. And Raymond rounds third, but will stay there. And now runners at the corners with two away for Jeremy Oakley. And Oakley takes a fastball for a strike. Oakley a strikeout vi victim in his first at bat. Trying to bring that tying run home from third. 
And another fastball for a strike. Oh, and two. Off speed pitch upstairs, one and two. Runner is going for first, ball skips and gets away. Coming in to score on the wild pitch is Raymond. Going for third is Brenda, he's there safely. And the wild pitch, a costly one, as Jeremy Oakley now stands at the plate, two and two, with two out and a runner at third. That would be the go-ahead run. And Oakley swings through the fastball for strike three, but not before the wild pitch evens the score. We go to the fifth. Coon Rapids and Anoka tied at one. You're watching High School Baseball on CTN. This CTN Sports presentation is brought to you in part by Appliance Experts, locally owned and operated, featuring 24-hour emergency service specializing in all brands of appliances, air conditioning, and in-home heating. Appliance Experts, 763-754-5887. Offering air conditioning tune-ups right now. I think that Sports Night really allows the community to stay involved with the high school sports and the kids in the community. We try and give some coverage to each and every sport. Sports that you may not see on a regular basis. It's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> we go out there and we have a good time. We have grown to be very good friends in the years that we've done this. We feel a part of this community. That's one of the most important things I'll take out of this. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Ready? Ready? Oh, come on, Randy. Animal shelter, here I come. And no, I'm not crazy or emotionally damaged. That's a stereotype. I just belong to a total loser. I'm a good dog. So if you want a pet, adopt. And if you see Randy, tell him he dropped his wallet. Third time through the order for Anoka as they start the fifth inning. Sam Miller led off the third with a double and scored the only run so far for the Tornadoes. One's up and in, one and one. Off speed pitch got Miller well out in front, one and two. This one chopped left side. Raymond bobbles it. Second error of the ball game on the Cardinal infield. And again, the leadoff man aboard for Anoka. Second error of the ball game for Tony Raymond. One of the more sure-handed defenders. This one bunted and foul. Good jump out of the box by Ward. With the ball trickling foul in front of Metaboski. Now 0 and 1. Check the runner and Miller back in time. Oh. 
Runner is going, this one bunted follow as well inside, but Ward kind of had already squared around and used the bat to protect himself there. And it's 0-2, good jump by Miller on the pitch. No balls, two strikes, man at first, nobody out here in the top of the fifth inning. And they'll check Miller back to first. Noka took a 1-0 lead in the top of the third. The Cardinals tied it in the bottom of the fourth. Again, they check on Miller. And again, he's back in time. Runner going again, the pitch is in for strike three, the throw not in time, a stolen base for Miller, but strikeout number six for Tyler Paulson for the first out of the inning. It's my mistake, it was not the second error on Raymond, one error on Raymond, one on second baseman, Sam Smith back in the second inning. Now Ryan Wicks, an RBI double in his last at bat, comes to the plate with a runner at second and one down. Takes the pitch outside, 1-0. Oh. Wicks goes down for that pitch and fouls it off, 1-1. One and one. Curveball hit back on the right side. Smith fields, throws, out number two. And Miller moves over to third. And now Jake Nelson. Single and a fly ball to center in his first two trips. Now two outs in the Go ahead, run at third. Thought about swinging. Takes it for a strike instead. Curveball hits softly over the head of Raymond. And in the left field, an RBI single for Jake Nelson. And Oka back in front, two to one. Comebacks, comes back to bite the Cardinals. Check on Nelson, he dives back in front of the throw. Kevin Pribble digging in, 0-2. Strike out in the second. Fly out in the third. This one fouled off the plate. This one shot foul, oh and two. Paulson trying to get out of this one without any more damage. Fastball skied left side, Raymond 
makes the call, makes the catch, ends the top of the fifth, but Anoka adds a run and takes the lead two to one. You're watching Cardinal Baseball on CTA. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. So my uncle calls and he says he's dizzy and he's losing his balance. I'm like, uncle, you want me to take you to a doctor? He's like, no, I'm going to look up the symptoms. I said, your symptoms are you're dizzy and you're losing your balance. So he said, I can't get on the internet because my arm is numb. I said, well, use your good arm and dial 911. Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love is showing symptoms of stroke, don't wait because it might be too late. Dial 911. Time lost is brain lost. Through four and a half, Anoka leading Coon Rapids two to one. Second run by the Tornadoes, an unearned run in the top of this fifth inning. And now the bottom third of the Coon Rapids lineup called on to try to tie it up again. So far, Parker Truen has been cruising, giving up two hits and one run. Run came across on a wild pitch. He's had a couple of wild pitches, but four strikeouts, no walks in the ball game. Designated hitter, Logan Shore, first pitch, drilled into right center. Bounces off of the glove of Peterson, but Shore took a big turn at first and then will stay there. And now Coon Rapids right fielder, Luke Height. Turns to bunt, pulls it back, takes a pitch down and away. 1 and 0. Again, high turns, drops down a great bun, charging in is Ward from third. The throw is in time, running all the way and looking for third base and getting there is Logan Shore. He saw the third baseman charge in on that bunt and wasted no time turning around second and going for third. And before Ward could get back there, he was safely aboard 90 feet away. So a great sacrifice bunt by Luke Height. And now Corbin Matavoski, first pitch Double down the left field line back in the third inning. Has an opportunity to tie this ball game up. Fastball misses outside, 2-0. Swung on and missed, two and one. That one still may be a little bit high. We haven't really seen Truen get rattled at all. His longest inning so far, 16 pitches. This one fouled off out of play. Averaging right around 12 pitches an inning is Truen coming into this fifth. Medovsky pops that one out of play, nearly 
Takes out some of the action in the Anoka bullpen over there. Stays alive to see another 2-2 pitch from Parker Truitt. This one chopped in front of the plate, but foul in front of Pribble. And we'll try another 2-2 pitch. Down and in, but the got Matovsky swinging. And that is out number two. Back to the top of the order, Sam Smith. See if he can drive in that tying run from third. Fastball called to strike. Smith gets just a piece and fouls it off for catcher to the backstop, 0-2. And strikeout number six for Druin. He got a throw down to complete it, they do. Lead off single. Sacrifice bunt gets the tying run to third with only one out, but back-to-back -back strikeouts gets Truen out of it and keeps the Tornadoes ahead. We go to the sixth, and Oka two, Coon Rapids one. You're watching High School Baseball on CTN. Have a banana. Eating well and playing go together like best friends. You better believe it. With the food pyramid, the bare necessities of living healthy are easy. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. So eat right. Be active. I'll move. That's it. And don't forget to have fun. That's the way to be the best. You're lots of fun, Blue. At anything you do. You can go to mypyramid.gov to play some games and find out more. Okay, this time, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to actually go to school. Tell me about some of the stuff you've had to deal with. I just dropped out completely. I just got caught up in it, the whole scene with the alcohol and the drugs. I was arrested. A lot of my friends, they were really concerned, especially my friend Aaron. You just have to find someone. They don't have to tell you advice. They don't have to do that. They just listen. Give your friends the boost they need to graduate. Join us at boostup.org. Eventually, everyone will see you for what you really are. A fake, a fraud, an asterisk. Don't be an asterisk. Designated hitter, Travis Elwood. Digging in to lead off the top half of the sixth inning. He's walked and struck out. Paulson out there for his sixth inning of work. Swung on and missed. One and two. Uh, speed pitch well outside, two and two. Call big swing on that one for Elwood. He strikes out for the second time this afternoon. Seventh strike out of the ball game for Paulson. And now opposing pitcher Parker Truen has reached base both times, first on an error. 
And then on a double. Fouls off the first pitch off his ankle. And now one and one. Fastball at the knees, and Truer tried to hold up, but couldn't want it to. Breaking pitch fouled to the backstop. It'll stay one and two. This one hit and threw the gap on the left side. Second hit of the ball game for Parker Truitt. And Anoka has a man at first with one out. B.J. Sherva is going to come in in place of Dan Sherman here. Runner is going, pitches in for a strike. Throw is in time for out number two. A great throw down from Matavoski to get true and trying to steal. This one chopped left side. Brenda has it come in to throw not in time. And a little infield single for B.J. Sherva. Another first pitch swing, high fly ball to center. Making the catch is Funfar. And a couple of hits in the inning, but still a relatively quick one. We go to the bottom of the six. Coon Rapids trying to come from behind. They trail the Tornadoes two to one. You're watching High School Baseball on CTN. When you watch CTN News, you'll notice we're different. It's about the people, the places, the stories that affect your life. We're local. We focus on the local communities, the local issues, and the local stories. They're the stories that impact you, the stories you won't find anywhere else. It's the people, the places, and the events that make CTN so interesting. It's about connecting you to your community, one story at a time. So, April. Yeah? You know your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? Nook has been able to get the bat on the ball, six hits, but they've left a lot of men stranded. Seven stranded over the last five innings. And this is the part of the order they got to Anoka pitcher Parker Truen in the fourth inning, able to even things when they were down a run at that time, now down a run again at two to one. Kirk Funfar. Nice 
Funfar with a single in the fourth. Forced out at third on the sacrifice bunt attempt by Brandon Flippin. That one's called the strike at the knees, one and one. A speed pitch chopped in front of home plate. Well, underhanded flip to first by Truen for out number one. <laughs> and now Tony Raymond. Raymond, a fly ball to, er, to center in the first, was hit by a pitch and scored the Cardinals' only run in the fourth inning. <laughs> pitch is low. And in two and one. Called strike two and one. Down in the dirt, three and one. It's only the second time in the game that Truen has been to a three ball count the other time back in the first inning. This one chopped foul and it's a full count. Breaking ball gets him swinging for the strikeout. Number seven for Truen, both pitchers. Ringing up a lot of strikeouts. And now Brandon flipping 0 for two. Reached on a fielder's choice in the fourth. Outside. Now two and up. Three hits and a hit batter. The only way the Cardinals have reached base. Seven strikeouts, as I mentioned. By Parker Truen through five and two thirds. Now two and zero oh to flip it. Two and one. Fastball driven to right. Late jump on it by Peterson. It gets past him. Flip it turns digging for second. He's going to get there standing. A two out double for Brandon Flippin. And now Joe Brenda struck out and reached out of fielder's choice. Flippin coming out of the game. Pitch down low to Brenda, 1 0. Oh. 
Patrick Edmond is the runner at second. Representing the tying run. Fouled off now by Brenda. Brenda fires it down the right field line. Peterson is not going to catch it and did not field it cleanly. This game is tied, an RBI double for Joe Brenda, back-to-back -back doubles, and we're tied at two. Nice shot to right. Was hooking toward the line, and Peterson couldn't feel the clean. Even if he had, it was going to be an easy run across for Patrick Edmond. <coughs> Jeremy Oakley 0 for 2, a pair of strikeouts. Go ahead, run in scoring position with two out here in the sixth. He's firing one down the right field line, but foul. Looking for that same kind of slicing shot toward the corner. It would allow Brenda to come home and put Coon Rapids in front for the first time this afternoon. This is the first time Truen has given up two hits in an inning. Oakley went fishing for a pitch down in the dirt. Falls behind one and two. Goes chasing one up high, his third strike out of the game, and Cardinals come back to tie. Believe the tie, or the go-ahead run at second. We go to the seventh, all tied at two. You're watching Coon Rapids baseball on CTN. This can't be happening. Of course it's not happening. Armored car. Listen, having money isn't about luck. Make your own coffee, save a thousand bucks a year. Feed me. Feed the pig. Megan, you're a tramp. Ryan Fitch told me you guys made out. Everybody knows. He says you're your most desperate girl he knows, besides your mom. How many boyfriends does she have anyway? Lots? That zit is huge. Zit face. Ugly. We start the seventh all tied up at two apiece. Anoka has jumped in front twice. Coon Rapids able to scratch their way back into it both times. Tyler Paulson, a nice afternoon so far. Seven strikeouts. He's given up seven hits, two runs, only one of them earned. That's just one walk. Top of the order, due up. Miller follows that one back. Evens the count at one and one. Sam Miller has scored both runs for the Tornadoes. Reached on a double leading off the third. Reached on an error leading off the fifth. This one popped straight up, may stay in play. A chance for Matavoski, but just out of play one and two. Fourth time he's come to the plate, all four times leading off an inning. Two of the three's been able to reach. This one chopped right back up the middle. Raymond fields in front of second, throws to Flippin for the first out of the inning. 
Nice play in the field by Tony Raymond. Moved a long way to his left. And a good strong throw to retire the first batter of the inning. And now the third base minor, Mitch Ward, 0 for 3, a couple of ground outs and a strikeout. Showed bunt, takes it for a ball up high. And now fouls one back well out of play, one and one. Fastball misses down and away, two and one. And now inside, three and one. And call the ball outside. Only the second walk allowed by Tyler Paulson this afternoon. And now Ryan Wicks, who had an RBI double in the third, comes to the plate looking for his second hit of the ball game. Go ahead, run on base, one out. Top of the seventh inning. High fly to right field. Should be an easy play for Height. Makes the catch for out number two. And now the six, second base minor, Jake Nelson. He's two for three. Pair of singles and RBI in the fifth. Fastball misses outside, 1-0. Oh. High fastball and Nelson guessed wrong. 1-1. One and one. Runner is going, curveball misses inside. Ward will get the stolen base, and it's now two and one to Nelson. Great jump by Ward, no chance on an off-speed pitch for Matt Vosky to get it to second. This one pops straight up behind Short coming in from left is Oakley to make the catch. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. Coon Rapids trying to avoid extra innings. See if they can win one in dramatic fashion. They're at the plate when we return. You're watching High School Baseball on CTN. Pull your face mask down. All right, what about the chest guard? It looks loose, is it loose? All right, what about the shin guards? All right, okay. Here comes the heat. Bring it in, bring it in. Good hustle. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. The odds of this daughter of a clergyman spending 11 weeks at number one on the U.S. singles charts, one, and 19 million. The odds of going on to win six Grammy Awards? One and 1.4 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 150. I'm Toni Braxton, and I encourage you to learn the signs of autism at autismspeaks.org. Why not? I think so. Are we all yeah, How's everybody doing start. tonight? Hello. Chrissy, hey. Hey, Alex. How are you? <laughs> Alex? Alex, Alex? Oh. Hello. 
I'm Mrs. Garcia. We've heard a lot about you. He is cute. Stop. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who would love to put up with you. Travis Elwood taking over on the mound for Anoka here in the seventh inning. Little surprised to see this as Truen was looking pretty good. He did give up two doubles in that sixth inning, but also got two strikeouts. And Elwood way up high to Logan Shore. Logan Shore singled leading off the fifth. Bottom third of the inning has come up in the leadoff spot all three times they've batted this ball game. This one driven right back up the middle. Elwood had half a play on it, but it's a line drive single to center for Logan Shore to lead things off. And now Luke Height, who uh, had a nice sacrifice in his last trip to the plate. I'm sure we'll see him turn and lay it, try and lay it down again. He does. Got back to Elwood a little fast, but he bobbled it and then threw it away. Both runners are going to go for extra bases. They're going to send the winning run. It's coming home. The throw from Wicks is in time. And Height, or uh, Shore rather, is out at the plate. But the winning run now at third base as Height went all the way to third. So a sacrifice for Height. But then he will earn all three bases on the error. That will be charged to the pitcher. Travis Elwood just hurried his throw after bobbling it. No chance for Wicks to get to it. And then the relay from Peterson to Wicks to Pribble gets Shore out at the plate. Corbin Matavoski will come up with the winning run at third base, one out in the bottom of the seventh inning. Matavoski with a double in the third, a strikeout in the fifth. And most likely the most important at bat of his young high school career. First pitch, foul out of play behind the Anoka dugout. It's the first error of the ball game for Anoka. This one hit left side. Nice diving play, but no chance for Sam Miller to get the run at home. It'll be an infield single and an RBI for Corbin Metavosky. And it will be a 3-2 win for the Coon Rapids Cardinals. Matavoski is second hit of the ball game. A great diving play by Sam Miller at short to make the stop, but he turns and there's just no chance to get the run at home. A throw over to first would be worthless. Cardinals get a couple of hits and come from behind to win in seven.
And a big win for the Cardinals puts them at three and two early in the season and starts another busy week for them with a victory. Matavoski plays the hero. First by getting the first hit of the ball game for the Cardinals, a double down the line and left, and then getting the final hit of the game for the Cardinals, an RBI single deep to the hole it's short. Here's a look at what we have coming up for you. We'll see the Cardinals baseball team in action again next Monday when they host the Elk River Elks. On Wednesday night, the home opener for the boys lacrosse team as they host the Blaine Bengals. That premieres here at midnight. Girls lacrosse, we will see you next Wednesday as they take on Andover. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from Ken Sunstrom Field. It's Coon Rapids 3, Anoka 2. I want to thank everybody out there for joining me and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.